Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to the Operation Freedom Health and Wellness Platform Series. Dr. Peter Glidden and I, one of the top naturopathic physicians in our country, if not the world, have been doing this series of presentations for the past three years. Our goal is to empower you, to educate you, and to educate you on the power of your own body's ability. When given the appropriate nutrients, how it can protect itself, how it can heal itself, and how it can nurture its own self. Big pharma, big insurance, big medicine like the AMA do not want you to know any of this, which is why they despise this series. However, the feedback we've gotten from you, our listeners and viewers, and from very, um, if you will, people that are focused more on the health and wellness of individuals have been strong proponents of this platform and of our approach. Today we want to take on an issue uh, about the keys to lung health. This has gained in stature, if you will, or importance, if you will, over the past three years based on dealing with that pathogen that we cannot discuss in any meaningful way in this particular platform due to the, if you will, sensor algos that are in place. But what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to harness your own body's ability to obtain and maintain lung health. Now, my uh, partner on this is Dr. Peter Glidden, as I mentioned, one of the top naturopathic physicians in our country who right now is straining the seams of his shirt as he shows you his biceps. Uh, Dr. Glidden, in addition to being one of the top naturopathic physicians in our country, is a fantastic researcher and a fantastic author. I encourage you to get his books and, and encourage them to be the foundation of your medical library. They are, they, they are, are ours in my home. Everybody is sick, and I know why, in attempt to cure with holistic medicine, available through Dr. Glidden's website, drglidden.com, also available on Amazon. Full disclosure, uh, we have a tremendous amount of information, added information at operationfreedomhealth.com. We also, we're going to speak about some products during this presentation, and those products are also available on operationfreedomhealth.com. It doesn't make any sense to talk about this stuff if you don't have the means of implementing what we talk about. By purchasing products at operationfreedomhealth.com, it does support this platform so we can continue this series. It's my honor to welcome back our good friend and the health and wellness guru, <coughs> Dr. Peter Glidden. Pete, welcome back to the Operation Freedom Health wellness series welcome to the monkey house dave yes you've got welcome that right. to the 21st century what the heck is going on here inside is outside upside is down right is left total surveillance is freedom and rigged elections is the greatest democracy in the world it's 19 it's the book 1984 all over again wow. only in real life only in real time <laughs> so Te pete, technicolor so pete let's talk about lung health because this issue about lung health has gained huge importance uh, over the past three years. And many people are, have said and continue to say, well, if you want to maintain your health, in particular your pulmonary or lung health, you need to do this. Okay, Pete. It's Let, the opposite. It's the exact opposite. Let's talk about what people need to do to main, enhance and maintain their lung health. Well, all right. So, uh, again, right, this from the Department of Redundancy Department, this isn't rocket science. <laughs> uh, what we need to do is give the body the nutrients that it needs in order to optimize its structure and function. And how do we do that? Well, we do that with delivering the 90 essential nutrients, which we call the foundation pack, and here it is. Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.5, Beyond OsteoFX. It comes in a liquid and a powder. I prefer the liquid. Plant-derived minerals and Prohova Omega. At Operation Freedom Health, we've put all that together called the Healthy Foundation Pack. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> why the healthy foundation fact because that's what it is mm -hmm. this these combination of nutrients provides to your body 100 percent of their essential nutrient needs 100 percent in recipes and formulas that are more absorbable than not and that's a big deal because ultimately it doesn't really matter what you swallow it matters how much you absorb Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so these bases have to be covered initially. you got to give your body everything that it needs. You take your car in to get tuned up. You don't just put air in the tires, mm -hmm. right? True. You do a lot of different things. So we got to do that with the human body, and then we're good, and then we march down the road of life, and we experience different stressors. And different stressors will have different actions on different parts of the body, like, you know, sunlight mostly affects the skin, right? Mm -hmm. Sunburn, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. So pollen mostly affects the upper respiratory tract. <clears throat> well, there's been a certain stress in the last three years that has had a net negative effect on the lungs. Mm -hmm. So, and, and also when we are exposed to people that have experienced that stress numerous times, mm -hmm. our lungs can also be negatively affected. So it would be prudent for us in this time that we're living in right now, in addition to the foundation pack, to do lung support. Mm -hmm. And so how do we do that? Well, it's easy, breezy, lemon, squeezy, because all we have to do, we don't have to second guess anything. We don't have to micromanage the metabolism of the body. We don't have to, like, discover intricate, biochemical slash metabolic pathways that have domino effects one on the other. All we have to do is give the body the stuff that it needs to keep that part of the body upregulated. So, I mean, if you're trying to get big biceps, you do more push-ups. You don't do leg lifts. You do push-ups, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's like that. So the secret sauce here to up the ante with lung health are two supplements, one of which is included here in the 90, the foundation pack, is the Prohoba Omegas. Because mm -hmm. the Prohoba Omegas are rich in a uh, nutrient called omega-3 essential fatty acids. And omega-3 essential fats are essential for lung health. And <clears throat> interesting fun fact to know and tell, your lungs and your heart are working all of the time. Mm -hmm. Your lungs, your heart's constantly beating, your lungs are constantly expanding and contracting even when you're asleep. And in order for that process not to go south, you need lubrication. Mm -hmm. Because if your lungs aren't properly lubricated, just the expansion and the contraction is gonna create too much friction. Mm -hmm. And that you know, it's like death by a thousand cuts slowly over time. That's going to cause a problem. Mm -hmm. So EFAs to the rescue, EFAs help to lubricate the lungs. And EFAs are also essential in the production of something in the body called a prostaglandin. Mm. Okay. And a prostaglandin is something that the body uses to combat inflammation. Prostaglandin is like little fired engines in the body that they go to sites where there's inflammation and they put out the flames before it turns into a forest fire, a conflagration. So we need prostaglandins, but that's great. The body knows how to make prostaglandins and the body knows when to make prostaglandins, but the body needs stuff in order to make prostaglandins. Needs the body the, just can't make it. Needs the building blocks. Yeah, so prohoba omega is the uh, omega-3 essential fats is what the body needs. So we, we up the ante with that. Mm -hmm. So my recommendation for essential fatty acid supplementation, if you are uh, under 100 pounds, uh, I would do four a day, uh, two uh, prohoba omegas twice a day. If you're between <clears throat> 100 and 200 pounds, I would do six a day. If you're over 200 pounds, I would do eight a day. And in, corona, in, in, in coronavirus time, because the lungs are uh, at higher risk, then you want to do more. So add one or two or three extra a day. And what I like to tell people is, you know, we don't, because we haven't had a free medical market and because Big Pharma doesn't want anything to do with any of this and because... Mm -hmm. Therefore, no universities are really going to attend to this in a research fashion. And 
there's only a handful of doctors that are doing this clinically. We don't know for certain that, look, if you're, a, you know, 100 pounds, take this many. Mm -hmm. If you're 275 pounds, take this many. And, be, and that would be a difficult metric to measure anyway, because everybody's different. Right. Different heights, different weights, different body fat, different metabolic rates, different drugs that people are taking. Everybody's taking pharmaceuticals, except the people that listen to us. So you don't really know what the Goldilocks number here is for any of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's worthwhile to do a little in-house experimentation. Right. And take a certain amount for four weeks and then up the ante yeah. for four weeks and see, see if you, you notice feel. a difference. Mm -hmm. You mess around with it like that until you do notice a difference and then you stay there. Mm -hmm. And your body will tell you mm -hmm. when it's time to go up or time to go down. Mm -hmm. And the last thing to do for lung health is to lean on, it's going to sound funny when I say it out loud, but it's true. Lean on ancient wisdom. Mm. Because people have been utilizing plant medicines, botanical medicines, literally since day one. Mm -hmm. Thousands of years. And the Indian culture, um, you know, in, on the subcontinent of India, and the oriental cultures mm -hmm. are, have been big into botanical medicines forever. Mm -hmm. And in their cultures, there is a wealth of information, a, a, a cornucopia of information concerning botanical medicines, what they're good for, what they're not good for, when to use them, combinations, mm -hmm. recipes, and everything. And one of the reasons that I really am such a cheerleader for the Good Herbs Company is that they've sourced that information mm -hmm. in order to make their formulas. Mm -hmm. It's not just a couple of, you know, 20th century, 21st century PhDs in botanical medicine trying to figure out what to use. It's not like that. This is well-referenced, well-sourced, ancient, and I'm choosing my words carefully, information mm -hmm. that's brought um, carefully into the 21st century and good herbs does that better than anybody else. So therefore <laughs> the good herbs <clears throat> lung support mm -hmm. formula is just what the doctor ordered here in order to give your lungs a little extra added protection during these strange times that we find ourselves in. If you're a hundred pounds uh, or under do one bottle a month, if you're between hundred and 200 pounds do two bottles a month, if you're over 200 pounds, get on a weight loss program, figure out why you're over 200 pounds, unless you're like six foot four basketball player, um, do three bottles a month. And inside each bottle, there's a little uh, dropper with a one milliliter mark. Mm -hmm. So for one bottle, it's uh, four milliliters a day. So if you have one bottle, you do two milliliters twice a day. If you have two bottles, you do four milliliters twice a day. I like to do it in divided doses like that. It would be better if you could do it in three doses a day, but getting somebody to do something three times a day, very difficult, much harder than yeah. getting somebody to do something twice a day. Don't know why it just mm -hmm. is very true. So that's how you do it. And this is a good time of the year to do that in mm -hmm. because as the weather changes, yep. especially here above the Mason Dixon line, you know, we tend to be more susceptible to upper respiratory tract stuff. So these two um, little iterations of the on top of the foundation pack can go a long way towards helping you to dodge a lot of these upper respiratory tract bullets that are that, that are flying at you um, right, left, and center all the time here. So check it out. Pete, do you happen to know what the main components are in that pulmonary, the lung support from Good Herbs? What the I, I know they always have, and, and you, you've, you've spoken before about how the process of production that they do is far superior to other companies' products. I got it right here. Um, it's called Good Herbs Respiratory Support. I misspoke a minute ago. It's not lung support. I think that was an old name, mm. but it's been changed to respiratory support. Here we go. One of the things it has is garlic. Mm. Garlic is effective against bacteria that are resistant to standard antibiotics. That's interesting. 
It's been used for lung and bronchial infections, mucus conditions, cough, asthma, and spasmodic coughs. Mullen is another botanical medicine, and it's a very soothing herb to the mucous membranes. Reduces swelling and pain in the mucous membranes. <clears throat> um, it gives protection to the lungs against the absorption of allergens, which is pivotal, mm -hmm. especially in this time of the year mm -hmm. when people get you know, allergies in the autumn because of the mold and the decaying leaves and things like that. Oat straw contains high levels of silic acid and calcium. It's good for building bone connective tissue, and it's useful for painful spasms and chest ailments, and this is what happens when people cough a lot. The cough can kind of uh, decay into a spasmodic thing where you just can't stop coughing, right? Mm -hmm. So that's very good for that. Blessed thistle. Um, aids in mucus creating conditions. It's good for bleeding and congestion in the lungs. It's analgesic and it's uh, uh, also a diuretic. The blessed thistle does a lot of different things. Elecampane, probably one of the most beneficial herbs in the entire botanical medicine world mm. for lung health. Elecampane in this regard is specific for irritating bronchial coughs. It strengthens lung muscles, promotes longevity of lung tissue. Well, that's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. It absorbs water from the lungs and reduces swelling, and it's a specific for chronic mucus congestion inside the lungs. Marshmallow, mm. not the ones you put in your coffee, <laughs> but the herb marshmallow soothes and heals mucous membranes. It's good for inflammation, irritation uh, in the lungs. Uh, two more, bugleweed, uh -huh. which is a really interesting plant. It's a sedative for coughs, hmm. especially coughs of nervous origins. It's good for chronic inflammation of the lungs and all congestive chest problems. And last but not least, yerba santa. It dilates bronchial tubes um, and promotes salivation to deal with dryness and thirst. It's good for upper respiratory tract congestion. And when you put all of these together, mm -hmm. it's a smorgasbord for lung health. And why wouldn't you do that? Well, the only reason you wouldn't do that is because, you know, you still believe in Santa Claus or <laughs> myths. Uh, oh, you know, it's the only thing that can help me is a pharmaceutical. Well, uh, not so much. The last time I looked, I'm going to trust God way before I trust the pharmacist. And, you know, these things were created. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons that I like plant-based medicines is because of, you know, the whole, I mean, it, it kind of reaches deep into the economy mm -hmm. of our physiology That's because right. our bodies and plants are products of the same ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Pharmaceuticals aren't. Mm -mm. Pharmaceuticals are man-made. Mm -hmm. And that's interesting to note that a, a vast majority, I forget what the actual number is, of pharmaceuticals had their origins in plants. That's right. And then, well... <laughs> and everything gets changed. Right. So the scientist looks at a plant that has a beneficial action on the lungs, and there's like 35 chemical constituents in the plant. And they all have a synergistic action together, but oh no, we don't want to believe any of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to extract one of those chemical constituents. We're going to make it synthetically in the lab, and we're just going to give that. Yeah. And that's no. You know, and this yeah. passes it defeat, for the yeah it defeats the whole purpose. The entire purpose. <clears throat> and yet, this is the world that we live in where this stuff is all everywhere all the time. And the botanical medicine stuff is looked at as, you know, substandard subpar quack medicine. And all of that's a lie. It's propaganda generated by the pharmaceutical industry to keep people sick. <clears throat> and so this is, this is an important thing for people to understand. Number mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. that botanical medicines have a real affinity for the human body because, mm -hmm. well, <laughs> Human body and botanical medicines are functions of the same ecosystem. So if you've never dabbled with botanical medicines, this is a really good time. It is. To, you know, raise this up on the flagpole and see if it flies. So get a bottle or two of the Good Herbs Respiratory Support. 
up the ante with your Prohoba Omegas and see what happens to your lungs. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Folks, as we mentioned earlier on, all these products are available at OperationFreedomHealth.com. In addition to a plethora of a tremendous amount of information on lung issues and other issues related to your health and wellness, Dr. Glidden has his own site, DrGlidden.com. Pete, educate our listeners on drglidden.com and your two books, Attempt to Cure with Holistic Medicine, and Everybody is Sick and I Know Why. Buy my books, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to love them. <laughs> well, you, no, I, they will if they're interested in empowering themselves. And there's one, uh, and I'll talk about that real, real quick by way of, you know, shameless self-promotion. But I'm looking down at my cup of coffee here, and there's one thing I forgot to say. Coffee is a botanical medicine. True. Right? True. Coffee's really interesting. And one of the things that coffee does mm -hmm. is it also upregulates prostaglandin, which is why coffee is often of great benefit when you get headaches. Boom. People, especially with migraine headaches or migraine esque like mm -hmm. headaches, mm -hmm. they'll mm -hmm. feel it much better. Like most of the pain goes away if they drink a strong cup of coffee. And well, why is that? It's because the caffeine that's in the coffee promotes prostaglandin formation the same way that essential fatty acids do so again botanical medicines to the rescue it's a wonderful thing and regretfully it's a thing that most people are completely clueless about and should have been taught in high school true should have been taught all of this stuff in high school but you weren't you know don't even get me started on the public well, education system but for goodness sakes people we, we weren't even taught this in medical school <laughs> You were, but I, it, 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 my, with my MD degree, we never, th this was never touched. Yeah. And on purpose. There's a reason for that, right? Well, as we heard the lectures in the Cyril building by yeah. the chairman of pharmacology, yeah. who was the Pfizer, if you will, chair of the Department of Pharmacology. I wonder why we never heard anything about... <laughs> The natural side of the equation, right? Follow the natural money, practice. baby. Yeah, right. That's what it comes down to. Regretfully. So all of this information, well, not, you know, I don't know everything, but, but I know a lot mm -hmm. after 34 years. You, see, you can find it in my books, Attempt to Cure with Holistic Medicine. There it is. Mm -hmm. You can also find it in my first book. Um, my first book is more like a diatribe on the evolution of medicine and things you didn't know about the history of medicine and the, the real differences between the allopathic method and the my method, the mm -hmm. naturopathic method. And you know, that's why I like Dave so much is there's room in the world for both. Absolutely. But, but, but the powers that be want to divide and conquer. 100%. Because Pete, this forum, there should be hundreds of them. 100%. With an MD and an ND providing information and insight to people's health and wellness. Pete, this is the only one in existence. Yeah, 100% in the entire world. In the entire world. Do yeah, that, doesn't exist anywhere else. And that's just nuts. It is nuts. But that's just the way Big Pharma wants it. And big medicine and big insurance and big government. And so to fill this void, which is huge, uh, on my website, drglidden.com, mm -hmm. I've got a a, a gigantic amount of information available via subscription that walks you through all of this stuff. So you want to jump down this rabbit hole? I welcome you too. I welcome you to help let me give you a guided tour to the undiscovered country of science-based clinically verified holistic medicine because there's a lot here that you need to know, like the whole coffee thing. I mean, mm -hmm. that's pretty simple. Yeah. Think of how different your life would have been if you're a chronic headache sufferer and you, you didn't know that, for goodness sakes. Mm -hmm. So check it out, drglidden.com. Um, you know, as Benjamin Franklin said, and, and I think Benjamin Franklin, I think he's my second cousin six times removed, oh, believe it or not. Look at that. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah his mother, Abaya Folger, oh. grew up another in coffee the same person. Yeah, just she kidding. grew up in the same the same town that I grew up in, and so our families are related somehow. Oh. That's yeah, interesting. As Benjamin Franklin said, <clears throat> we must all hang together. 
Oh. Or most assuredly, we will hang alone. So increase your knowledge base, folks. If you're smart enough to, you know, pass the driver's license test, you're smart enough to learn this stuff, and That's you right. need to learn this stuff. So, so go to the website and check it out, and give the supplements a try if you haven't already, because the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And also on OperationFreedomHealth.com, we have a, a video that's free that Dr. Glidden did about the 12 bad foods that focuses on, on inflammation. Free? It's free. free. You didn't tell free. me it was free. It's free. <laughs> and it's right on the top of the homepage there at OperationFreedomHealth.com. Pete, I'd like to thank you for everything you have done, are doing, and will do. I'd like to thank you folks. And I do have an assignment for you. One is go to the websites. Take a look at the information provided. Number two, take this video and network it to other people. The more people that become educated, because they'll never get any of this through the bought off lamestream fake media because the bought off lamestream fake media is owned by Big Pharma. Just look at the ads that you'll see every five minutes. Take this information and get it to everyone and anyone you know and love or care about, or for that matter, don't even care about. <laughs> Get them the information because the more people that are educated, the more people that become empowered. And the more people that become empowered, the healthier they become. And the less demand they put on a system that is not focused on their well-being. That's the key. The way we beat these big pharma thugs and globalist thugs is by starving them of your attention, your time, and your dollars. That's how we beat them. And the way we beat them is by keeping those you and those you know and love healthy and well. 100%. I thank you for joining us today, folks. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.